Diego de Landa's Yucatan before and after the conquest provides a unique insight into the historical and cultural landscape of the Yucatan region before and after the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. Landa, a Spanish friar and missionary, offers a detailed and at times controversial account of the Maya civilization, their customs, beliefs, and the impact of European colonization. Landa's narrative begins with a vivid portrayal of the richness and sophistication of Maya civilization prior to the Spanish conquest. He paints a picture of a thriving society, describing their advanced knowledge in various fields such as astronomy, mathematics, and agriculture. Landa emphasizes the intricacies of their calendar system, religious practices, and complex hieroglyphic writing, highlighting the intellectual prowess of the Maya. However, Landa's perspective takes a stark turn as he delves into the conquest era. He discusses the violent clash of civilizations, the devastation brought upon the indigenous population, and the subsequent imposition of Spanish rule. Landa's account is laced with a sense of moral judgment, condemning certain aspects of the Maya culture, particularly their religious rituals that involved human sacrifice. His portrayal of the conquest reflects the prevailing Eurocentric viewpoint of the time, viewing European influence as a civilizing force despite its brutality. Throughout the text, Landa grapples with the complexities of cultural differences and the clash between indigenous traditions and European values. His narrative is colored by a mix of admiration for the Maya civilization's achievements and a sense of superiority stemming from his Christian beliefs and Spanish identity. This duality in Landa's perspective often leads to conflicting interpretations of the Maya culture, oscillating between fascination and disdain. Moreover, Landa's role as a Christian missionary significantly influences his portrayal of the Maya religion. He condemns their polytheistic beliefs and rituals, often describing them as barbaric and heathen practices. His bias is evident in his depiction of the destruction of indigenous religious artifacts and texts, viewing it as a righteous act of eradicating paganism and spreading Christianity. However, despite Landa's biases, his account remains a valuable historical document providing insights into the pre-colonial Maya civilization. It offers a glimpse into a world that was vastly different from the European society of that time, shedding light on the complexity and richness of indigenous cultures in the Americas. It's essential to approach Landa's work critically, considering the context in which it was written. His narrative reflects the prevailing attitudes and prejudices of the era, influenced by religious zeal, cultural superiority, and the conquest-driven agenda of the Spanish colonial enterprise. In conclusion, Yucatan Before and After the Conquest, by Diego de Landa serves as a complex historical account that illuminates the cultural, religious, and societal dynamics of the Maya civilization during a transformative period. While it offers valuable insights into the pre-colonial era, readers must navigate through Landa's biases and Eurocentric viewpoint to discern a more nuanced understanding of the historical realities of that time.